Hey, this is Nathan from SoundIron. Today I'm going to walk you through how to use our new wavetable feature in DeskBell. DeskBell is a free SoundIron library made for Contact 7 player. We've included 20 wavetables that you can easily blend with the ambiences or tuned percussion. Here's what wavetable 1 sounds like. The first knob on the left is the position knob. This morphs or scrubs between the waveforms included in the wavetable. You can assign this to your mod wheel to easily sweep through the positions. The form knob adjusts the amount of wave shaping applied to the oscillator phase. This adds or removes harmonics to make it more or less complex. The mode menu allows you to select between 14 types of wave shaping that can be applied to the oscillator phase. So you'll choose one of these and then use the form knob to adjust the amount of wave shaping. Switching modes changes the way the wavetable is read to bend and warp the waveform in different ways. Here are some examples. The next drop down is the quality menu. You can select between four types of interpolation applied to the position control. Higher settings result in improved levels of accuracy and lower levels of distortion. Basically, lo-fi will give you the fuzziest results. The phase knob adjusts the position of the waveform the sound starts from when a new note is triggered. This works a lot like an offset knob. The random knob adjusts the amount of randomness applied to the reset point of the oscillator's phase. This creates random deviations of the sound's start position when a new note is triggered. So turning the random knob up is basically moving the phase knob each time you play a new note. We hope you enjoy the new Contact 7 player version of Deskbell. Please subscribe here for more videos like this, and we'll talk to you soon.